All right, so this is our sixth class. It's March 9th, 2021. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, synonyms of words, of adjectives specifically. And we're also going to be reviewing uh, yesterday's class, which was talking about participles as adjectives. So we're going to be looking at present and past participles, as well as vocabulary related to opinions, uh, being able to describe things. Jess, you're good? Can you hear me, Jess? Good evening. Good evening, okay. Yes, okay, good. Doris, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Excellent, Doris, all right. And Joel. Hi, everyone. Hello, Joel. Joel, I see in the shelf, in the bookshelf behind you, you have like little uh, dolls or, or little, little toys. What are the toys? Word teacher. In, behind me. Yeah, behind you. Is it like Yu Gi Oh? Or, yes. Or, what, what is it? There are there are some some toys some cars some star wars star wars toys ah uh, star wars yes. okay. okay this one this mm -hmm. one over over here yes so you like star wars huh Hol? well not exactly my my dad does not me but for him i i got those i got those objects okay Okay, great. Well, today we're going to be, uh, as I mentioned, we were going to be reviewing uh, the vocabulary from yesterday, synonyms. Um, also, for uh, we're going to be looking at present and past participles. And then we're going to be trying to use relative clauses. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the words from yesterday and make sure that it's clear, the pronunciation and the meanings. Okay. So... First, uh, I'll say the words to help you with the pronunciation. It's absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, Ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, and weird. And in the bottom, we have the pronunciation of the words awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange. So first, let's work together to match the words with the synonyms to make sure that we understand what all of those words are or what they mean. So the word absurd, what could be a synonym of absurd? In which category? It's stupid. Correct. Okay. That's right. Absurd. Something stupid. Okay. What about bizarre? What could be bizarre? It's strange. Excellent. Strange. Disgusting. Awful. Awful. Okay, great. Dreadful? Awful too. Awful too. Correct. Correct. What about dumb? But what do you say? Dreadful? Uh, dreadful? Dreadful is dreadful. the synonym is awful. 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 Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. What about dumb? What could be the synonym of dumb? That's stupid. Excellent. Dumb would be stupid. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. 
Fantastic. Amazing. Okay. But in the bottom, we have awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange. So what could be for fabulous? What In which category? Mm, wonderful. Correct. It would be in wonderful. Excellent. What about fantastic? Amazing. Good. But in the bottom, what would be the category? In awful, stu wonderful, stupid, or strange? Wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. Correct. It would be with wonderful. What about horrible? Okay, okay. strange. No, afraid, afraid. Not strange. Mm -hmm. Awful too. Awful, correct. Horrible would be with awful. Mm -hmm. What about marvelous? Wonderful. Wonderful, great. Odd. Strange. Strange, very nice, good. Outstanding. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Stupid. Stupid. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Silly. Stupid. Too. Silly would be stupid also. Yes. Silly would be stupid. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Strange? No, awful. not strange. Awful. Mm -hmm. Correct. Terrible awful. would be awful. Mm -hmm. Unusual? Strange. 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 Correct. Unusual would be strange. And weird? Strange too. And strange too. Correct. Very good. So what are we going to do? With our partners, we are going to form our groups and we're going to use these words and make a sentence with each word. So as an example, if my partner uses the word absurd, I use bizarre. If I use bizarre, my partner uses disgusting. So it's one my partner, one me. One my partner, one me, okay? So we're going to make sentences with those words, okay? It's not writing, it's only speaking. So that's, you don't have to worry about writing. So it's just about speaking with your partners and making those into sentences. Is that okay? Yes, it is okay. Yes, uh, it is clear. Good. Hi, Dennis. Nice to meet you, too. Um, teacher, pero aquí no vemos las, las palabras con las que vamos oh, a trabajar. No problem, Lydia. I can share. Okay, thank you. And it's also in your WhatsApp, Lydia. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no problem. It's from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Can you see the, the screen, Lydia? Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay. Um... Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Dennis? The, the correct tense is, can you see the screen or do you see the screen? No, no, the correct is can, can you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Remember, you also have Sylvia in your group. Sylvia? Okay. okay. Welcome, Sylvia. Mm. 
Dreadful. It's awful. Yes, it's, it's <laughs> looking bad. For me, the onion is very disgusting. Mm, disgusting. That's okay. true. Yes, okay. We can use uh, all we can use all that you want in different order. No problem. For example, uh, I can say that uh, for me learning learning French is marvelous because it's very important new days. Uh, I don't know what about you, Doris. What do you think about the different things using the uh, opinions, the word, synonyms. Puedes usar cualquiera de los sinónimos. Ok, ok, thank you. Se nos fue Doris. Doris, Doris, are you there? Doris, are you there? Okay, if you want, continue to. I think Doris has yeah. some problems, but maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no problem. Uh, you can, you can, you can continue, Joel. And uh, maybe Doris catch okay. the idea. Mm -hmm. um, continue. And. I think you also have uh, Rodrigo. Remember, don't forget you have Rodrigo. Go down, go just, down, and you see. I Rodrigo. just coming. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Rodrigo. Why? You, yes. Why? Don't say yeah. anything. For example, I I don't know. Um, for Alfu. Um, the traffic today is very awful. The traffic today is or oh, was very awful. Was very awful. Teacher, we are here again. Yeah, we're here again, Jesse. It's because we had a, a lot of students come late. So I think we're going to make more groups because it was starting to get very big for all of the students. Mm -hmm. Time is finished? No, not yet. We still have a lot of time. Okay. Uh, the important is that we have a lot of students that came later. So now you see the class is bigger. So I'm going to explain the instructions again to make sure that it's clear. Uh, okay. Okay. It's not the middle of it's not the middle of the weekend. Todavía no es el ombligo de la semana. So maybe they are tired for jobs. Yeah, yeah, for for working. <laughs> so <laughs> that I'll explain in three point six in the platform or in your WhatsApp, you have this little box with the vocabulary. The idea is you are going to make a sentence with each of those words. So as an example, if Jesse makes a sentence with absurd, then I make a sentence with bizarre. If I make a sentence with bizarre, then Jesse makes a sentence with disgusting. And we take turns, one and one. Now, all of those words, we at the beginning of the class, we classify them so that you understand where they go. Okay, so absurd is the same as stupid. Bizarre is the same as strange. Disgusting is the same as awful. Dreadful is the same as awful. Dumb is the same as stupid. Fabulous is like wonderful. Fantastic is like wonderful. Horrible is like awful. Marvelous is like wonderful. Odd is like strange. Outstanding, it's like wonderful. Ridiculous is like stupid. Silly is like stupid. 
terrible is similar to awful, unusual is similar to strange, and weird is similar to strange. Are there any words that are not clear? Are there any words that you would like me to repeat? No, no one? Me not teacher because you explained before. Okay. Maybe all that I don't know. Okay, it's okay for everyone? Silvia, Lydia, Joel, Denise, Rodrigo, yeah. it's okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, teacher. Silvia, for you? I don't understand. The sorry. Way that, but good, Silvia, it's okay, but it's necessary you ask when you don't understand. What don't you understand? I show you the screen one more time, and you tell me what part or which word you don't understand, Silvia? You say the uh, syn synonyms for this uh, word. Yes, the synonyms. Mm -hmm. So synonyms. Remember, these are the, the synonyms. This is from here is the synonyms. This is how we spell it. Synonyms. Mm -hmm. So, synonyms, this is teacher. Synonyms, mm -hmm. synonyms. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I know. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. So, here the idea with our partner is we are going to use these words to make sentences. So, one person make a sentence with absurd, and my the partner, the other partner, make a sentence with bizarre. So, okay. Is, Sylvia, do you understand all of the words here, that where they go? No. Sylvia, which word you don't understand? You tell me, that's the idea. First tell us and we help you. Which is the word you don't understand? Nosotros debemos hacer oraciones con los sin sinónimos de esas palabras. No, we need to make sentences with those words. Sir? You are going to make sentence with the words that, that are there. So ah, with these with these words. words. These are these words are synonyms of awful. These words are synonym of wonderful, of stupid, and of strange. Those are the synonyms of those words. So you only need to make sentences with those words. Okay. Is that okay, Sid? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh huh. That's right. Only the sentences. So we're only going to make sentences. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? It's clear. It's clear? Okay. Let's try with our partners now. You okay, Doris? Doris, you okay? Hey, Nuria. Nuria, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can oh. hear you. Okay, good. Your partner is Doris, but I don't know. Can you hear Doris? No. 
Hello, yeah. boy. Right now, yes. Ah. I'm sorry, I have problem with my microphone. No problem. Nuria, can you hear Doris? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Good. Now you can work. It's a, a little technical problem first, but it's okay. Now we continue. Okay. We are going to make sentences, right? Okay. My cousin Guillermo it's an trained person. Hello, Monica. Hello, Lisette. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Okay. Um, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. I think we had a little bit of issue there. Uh huh. What, what happened, teacher? What happened, teacher? What's going on? Yeah, I had, I, yeah. Actually, I actually only came out to see Monica and Lisette because the Monica and Lisette just came in, but then it, <laughs> because they were they were very late for the class and I tried to get them, but I'm going to put them. <laughs> okay, let's try one more. Okay, time. don't you worry. Yes. Okay. Whoever has Monica or whoever has Lisette, please explain to them. That way they know what to do and then <laughs> we don't have to go again, okay? Okay. Okay. Yes. If, if we have more students that are late, don't worry. I send to, to your group and you explain to them. <laughs> that way they can advance. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. For example, absurd is stupid. Uh, for example, I can say, I feel, I feel absurd when I have uh, multitasking, when I tengo muchas tareas, or oh, I felt bizarre. I Yesterday, I was, I was feeling bizarre because I saw uh, a, ghost, a, a ghost, I think, a, a fantasm. And now I feel marvelous. Me siento wonderful because uh, I did a lot of things. Porque hice muchas cosas. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to say Adios. that it's not very clear to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, usted puede ser. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Monica, uh, the thing is that I'm what It's your turn, Sylvia or Lydia. Okay, okay, I think, I think. Um, teacher, how do you say clima? Weather, 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 weather. Um, the weather is very, very terrible. Okay, Celia, it's your turn. Yes. Country. You are missing the uh, fantastic. Okay. Um, 
for example, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Okay, go ahead. Friend? Oh, okay. Time. Mm -hmm. okay, got it. Good one. So, my turn. The word dump. I was so dumb when I was a kid, <laughs> a little kid. Ahora es mi turno. Yes, go ahead. A ver, quiero ver, ya voy. Eh, the bad are horrible for me and I am scary to see. Can you repeat it one more time, please? The bad are horrible for me. Murcielago. Oh, okay. I got it now. Okay, okay. I got it. Uh, let me see. Doris, only the, the pronunciation is the, the strong T. No, no soft. is is the bat. The bat. Mm -hmm. Bat. Yes. Yes, yes, with okay. the T, correct. No, 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 that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Wonderful. Wonderful. When you, when uh, you feel, uh -huh, you feel wonderful when you um, song. Are synonyms with, with wonderful? Uh, you feel wonderful. Marvelous. Marvelous. Ah, okay, marvelous. Uh -huh. yes, what marvelous. does marvelous mean? Ah, it's the same. Marvelous is say wonderful. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo, okay. maravilloso. Ah, uh, okay, thank uh -huh. you. Maravilloso. How many sentences? Do we have to do Ooh, one sentence with each word? So all of the words you need to complete one sentence for each word. Oh, thank you. Today was a day terrible. Well, well with a. For work. Okay. Me cuesta, niña, me cuesta. A la hora de las horas no hay qué palabras poner. Entiendo más escrito que hay más escrito que, que, que para hablar o para entender. Estoy pero. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Ay. Okay. Uh, today I was disgusting because I was in a rush. Huh? Traffic truck. Today I was disgusting because I was I was in a traffic rush. Ay, terrible. Uh, this morning uh, I go later uh, at my work for that. Mm. Could you repeat, mm. Sylvia? Uh, the uh, I say that uh, terrible, uh, the traffic. Uh, today I go to my work very, very late. Okay, today I went to my work late went, because the traffic was terrible. 
Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> Some people are weird. Only the there's a sentence that you have there. It's in the the terrible. It says the abort is terrible in the uh, society. It is is not the abort. Is uh, abortion. The word is up because abort is the verb. So abortion is terrible. Uh -huh, correct. Abortion is the noun. Abortion is terrible in society. Society. Good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And the, I see you have the sentence with the marvelous. It, mm, Normally, if you have the marvelous, uh, Mrs. Maisel, you need to continue if uh, uh, a description. If not, is you have to put Mrs. Maisel is marvelous. So it's your decision. Oh, if, okay. okay. Uh -huh, if you, for 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 the order, the order. complete complete tense. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. So is Mrs. Maisel is marvelous. Miss, Mrs. Maisel. Maisel, sorry. Mrs. Maisel is marvelous. Mm -hmm. That is the only change the order. Uh -huh. And then if you see in the Spanish version, it makes more, more sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But good job. Good job, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, I'm studying uh, English and French, but I was in the economy department too. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. I, congratulations. <laughs> you, you are too. in the same faculty. Yes, I, I, I love being there. I miss the uh, Rafael Menjivar building <laughs> in those places. In my last year, I studied in, in this that building. place. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no conocí todavía. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I, I. It was. It's new. Is it is new? It? Oh, I'm I, sorry. I the the building is new. Yes. I I didn't know it because I I started about two years ago and I was there so. I didn't no. know it was new. Mm, I remember that, yes. The okay. compartido. Yes, that's, the, that's the other one. Old. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's really old. Yes. Kind of dirty and abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Pero sí. De ahí salí. Hace un par de años. Glad to hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> ¿Qué año lleva de economía? In economy, no, I just, Spanish, ahorita. Yes, in economy, just, in economy, I just did one year. Okay. Yes, and then I moved to the English department, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I'm not good at math. It's kind of dreadful to me, <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> and in the other hand, Languages are really fantastic for me. I love them. <laughs> I love languages. I love to talk. You prefer language that Marimari? Yes, most definitely. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> I prefer <Yeah>. bottles. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Do you work? 
Yes, yeah, I you, work you told me. Okay. So how how do you how do you schedule your time to work and study at night? And is it hard? Is it difficult? A poco, because uh, a little in bit. the night, yes, because in the night I want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, spend time yes. with your family, your loved ones. Yes, you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's my, but, it's my complicated, but. But you're doing a fabulous work, so <laughs> you broke <laughs> out it. Doris, where do you work? I work at Galvaniza. Okay. And what do you do at Galvaniza? Repeat, please, teacher. What do you do in Galvaniza? I'm business administrator and I, I, I do the payroll. Okay. <laughs> So, so you're an accountant? No, business administrator. <laughs> ah, okay. It's okay. like a, a manager, I think. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That would be it. interesting, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. So now, are you? Did you finish all the sentences? Yes, yes, we we finished. We finished then. Okay. Excellent. Are there any words or any that are not clear? Um, the meaning, the pronunciation, or any other words? Yes, maybe I'm, I'm struggling with marve, marvelous, marvelous. Can you... Marvelous? Marvelous. Okay. No, 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 boo. Marve, marve, marvelous. Marvel, marvelous. Think of, no, no, no. Think of the, the Captain America, uh, Thor. Okay. Is, you don't. Uh -huh, it's the same, exactly. Marvel, because you say Marvel superhero, right? Marvel, so it's the same. Marvel, Marvel less, marvelous, marvelous. Mm -hmm. marvelous. Okay, okay, okay. I need to practice the word more, but mm -hmm. I, I will sleep on it. Yeah, I will uh, practice them. Excellent. Yeah, it's just uh, you know, it's just making the association and, and practicing because sometimes there are new words. And that makes it a little bit harder sometimes. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Any other word or just that one? How do you say ridiculous? Is that's, okay? That's pretty good. Yeah, ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? No, no teacher. teacher. We're good. Okay, perfect. I think the other groups are more or less, so now we can stop and go on with the rest of our class. Let's see. Okay. So were there any questions from anybody? Anything um, that is not clear? Yeah, I think so. Everything was okay for you, Rodrigo? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, anybody else? Any? Any questions, pronunciation, or meaning of the words? No, teacher, everything is crystal clear for me. Okay, perfect. All right, well, if that's the case, then we're gonna go ahead and continue with our final activities that we have. Um, I'll share my screen with you. Here we go, okay. so. We have a couple activities. The next activity in the platform is 3.7. It's a listening exercise and then sorry, listening and choose according to what you heard. Okay, so you choose uh, what they say about each thing, right? How is each one? 
But this one is going to be by yourself. You're going to, um, today or tomorrow, whenever you have a moment, you're going to listen and choose the correct answer for, for that one. Uh, but for our class activities, we're going to be looking at how to join two sentences. Today, we're going to join two sentences using what they call relative clauses. Relative clauses is really the idea of um, specific words, the words like who, that, which, that we use to join two sentences or two ideas into one, into one common sentence. We're going to watch a small video on how to join them and how to use it. And then I'm going to explain a little bit about the relative clauses, okay? So first let's watch the video and then I'll explain and we practice using them. Relative clause. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Relative Clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Okay. So the actor who won. The first thing that we want to take a look at is making sure we understand it. Okay. <clears throat> We use relative clauses, as I mentioned, to join two sentences. Here we have, he's an actor, and we have, he won two Oscars. So instead of having two separate sentences, it, we're going to make them into one. And we're gonna say, he's an actor who won two Oscars. Now, why do we do use the word who or that? The idea is to be more specific or to give more details with our sentence. So that way the person knows who we're talking about and, we, and they know what we're talking about, okay? Then in the next sentence, we have, it's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. Uh, so we put it together, it's a movie which stars Kate Winslet or it's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. What is the idea? Well, the idea is that by using the words who, we emphasize the person. By using the word which, we only focus on the thing. The words that can be used for both. Uh, we can use it the, in order to have a person or a thing. Hmm. Okay. Are there any questions up to that moment? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. So. Why do people tend to use this? Well, people tend to use it because they don't remember the name or they don't remember the thing. So they, it's usually like in Spanish when we say, hey, do you remember that, that place? The place that, that has the wonderful food and the piña coladas. Oh, yeah, 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 in the beach. And that's the same focus here. The relative clauses are used in those situations. Maybe you don't remember the movie but you remember that Kate Winslet was in the movie, okay? You don't remember the name of the actor, but you remember that the actor 
won two Academy Awards. That's when we tend to use this type of structure. Does that make sense? Yes, it made sense. Okay, so exactly as it says, we join two sentences together. We give information or we give more details about the main sentence. Okay, that's the focus of it. Um, here's a couple parts that are important the for us to see. clauses are joined by... Here, there are more relative clauses, but the ones that we're going to be looking and studying today are who, which, and that. Remember, who is only for people, which only for things, but that for people or things. It's not a difference in meaning. It's only the function of each one. Relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join. So as an example there, we have who is used to talk about people. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, the he likes the woman who lives next door. Okay. So we use the words, the which woman? Ah, the one who lives next door. I don't know the name, but now you know which woman. That's when we use who for people. And classes about people. Okay. Which is used to join. Which we use it to talk about the different people, right? Or sorry, the different things. Um, so it's a movie. Ah, but I don't remember which movie. Ah, it's a movie which we enjoy very much. Oh, it's one of our favorites. So then that makes sense. Okay. So here we're taking a look at where to use it. We're using it for things exclusively. Classes about things. That is used to join classes about people. But now we're looking at that. And that can be used for both functions. It can be used to talk about people or it can be used to talk about the things. So as an example, she has a sister. That is a writer, okay? That refers to the sister that is a writer. Or I bought a car. That is very fast. What is very fast? The car that I bought. That is the idea, okay? So we're taking a look at all of those words that we have there, and we want to make sure that we understand who for people, which for things, but we can use that for both people and things. Any questions so far? No, teacher, me, I don't have questions. I don't. No questions so far. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. Well, if nobody has questions, then we are going to have the opportunity to practice. What are we going to do? Similar to the example, we're going to take two sentences. As an example, here we have two sentences. He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. And we take the two sentences and we make them into one. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Or we could say he's a movie director that made the film Hulk. Because remember, who can be used for people, but that can be used for people and things. So for this one, 3.10, and we have a few sentences that we need to combine using the relative clauses. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Okay, uh, Monica and Lydia. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you, if someone of you can share the the exercise, or or do you want that I am that I share it? I 
I don't like you to show up. Uh, to show them. Just searching now. A moment. Okay. What about you, Sylvia? Because I. Are you in the platform? Not. I have a problem with my cell phone. Okay, okay. For entry of a platform. This who is Angel Lee? This is who is Angel Lee? Vamos leyendo uno y uno para que bajemos hasta abajo y vayamos. Ok, ok. Uh, who is Angel Lee? He's eh, a movie director. Ok, eh, Lisette. He's a movie direct director who made the film home. Hulk. Or... He's a movie director that's made a film home. Yeah. Ese es el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Um, let's go. Number one. It's the same of the example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, let, let me copy that. Is that, uh, for example, okay. I try to review this. What? Is, maybe I need a dot. Yes. <laughs> Very well. The first one is done. Okay. The next one. Have you hear, heard of pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it's an action movie. It starts Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe can use that. I can use this and change the dot for that. Ah. Hold on. Yes, it's an action movie that blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me Let me share. Oh. oh. It's a ground, ground, ground answer. Mm -hmm. Maybe, okay, is the movie is an object, an action movie, it's an action movie that Johnny Depp is a person, I don't know, maybe wish for the action movie, we, it's a witch, 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 witch. Who is for person? Yeah, but the the the, the, the fear tense mm -hmm. is about action movie in that is uh, an object. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to change that for which. Maybe let me check. Ah oh, man, <laughs> teacher, tell me, I'm seeing your your response there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help us? Yes, era precisamente la que no me salía. Yeah. Help. Okay. Me. 
So as you see, uh, read the sentence and, I'll, and I will help you where your mistake is. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Is uh, an action movie. It stars Johnny Depp. Uh -huh, but your answer, no, what did you write? Ah, my answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yes, it's an action movie which is it stars Johnny Depp. Okay, that is the problem because uh, you are talking about the we are talking about the 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 movie, right? Okay. Yes. Okay, so you can use which that's fine, and you can use that. But the important is when you choose relative clauses, you do not repeat again it because the it is the which. So you're going to it put stars. which, yes, which stars Johnny Depp because the purpose is only one pronoun. It's like I say Dennis, he, no, or I say Dennis or I say he, but not the two. Okay. Mm -hmm. And remember okay. is... I think the rest is correct. So check. I think that was the only mistake is you okay. were using two pronouns. That's okay. Very well. So remember, it's only, it's just like a, a normal pronoun, like he, she, you, is only just one in the sentence and not repeat again the same uh, one. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Very nice. The next one. What Chicago? Okay. <clears throat> it's almost time for us to finish, but we want to make sure that it's clear for everyone and that everyone understood how to use it, okay? So, in relative clauses, that I think the main idea everybody has, okay? Let me just wait one moment for the other people to finish coming. They're still in their groups. They don't want to return, so that's why it's an obligation now. <laughs> okay. No, they, maybe they go. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 they're back. Okay. There they okay. come. You see, <laughs> they're here now. So, the idea for relative clauses is like a pronoun. So, imagine I'm talking about Jesse, right? <laughs> and I say, eh, Jesse is a nice person, or I say, she is a nice person. That is the same function for the relative clauses, is, is to give us the pronoun. The who, which, or that is like saying the same thing. So it's not correct two times. It's not correct for me to say, Jesse, she is a nice person. No, is Jesse is a nice person or she is a nice person? Because you only need it one time. The same for the who. So, or, so I say, Jesse, who, is a nice person. I am not going to repeat. Jesse, who, she is a nice person. No, because it's only necessary one time. So that's one of the clues, right? That's one of the tips that we need to make sure that we understand. The relative clause is a pronoun that we use in, in this case, like another one, like he, she, we, they, you, is the same. So we don't repeat it with the thing. We don't say it two times. We don't say, eh, Cinemark, it is a good theater. No, we just say Cinemark is a good theater or we say it is a good theater. But we don't have to repeat both of them. That's right, Rodrigo. That's the, that's the key. No redundancy. And that's really what helps. Mm -hmm. So no repetition, no redundancy. And remember that who is for people, which is for things, and that can be used for both people or things for example can i say uh the teacher who works in english corporativo teaching in teaching english exactly that's correct the teacher who works you're not going to say the teacher who he works 
No, because it's not necessary. You use who? So you only need to use it one time. Is that okay, Jesse? You look confused. Your face. Uh, no, no. Yes, I, yes. Uh, but uh, let me check. Let me another sentence. For example, the movie that I saw yesterday was horrible. Correct. Correct. Okay. That's exactly, exactly. So you have the idea. Very good. Okay. So we're going to pause there. Tomorrow we're going to continue, but this is the idea for our relative clauses. So remember, we didn't do the listening, but the listening you do. It's only four questions. You listen and choose the correct one, 3.7. Teacher, yes. y para los animales? The same. For the animals is yeah. which or that. Which? Ah, okay. If, if, if you are choosing, for example, like you go to a, a, a veterinarian and you have a dog or a cat, ah, which animal, right? You are for choices. But if it's only in general for any animal, is that. Not who, because who is for people. All right, guys, have a great night and we will continue tomorrow. Okay. 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 Good, night. Good, night. Good, night, Good night, guys. Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. You. You're welcome.